you'd like to learn how to use a compass, but why not a GPS unit? After all, a GPS unit is a modern marvel of technology capable of locating your position anywhere on the globe within a few feet. Well, a compass is a lot less weight. Therefore, you're less likely to need to leave it behind when your pack is so heavy. As well, a compass doesn't run on batteries, so you're not gonna run out of electricity. As well, a compass is less expensive, meaning you can afford a couple of them and still have room to buy that more expensive piece of gear that you need. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over the parts of a compass and the basics in order to allow you to find a bearing. Let's go take a look at this. Here is a basic compass. We have a magnetic needle. The red tip of the needle is pointing towards magnetic north, which is different from true north, and we will go over that in another video. Here we have the orientating arrow, which is part of the compass housing. The compass housing is a circular area on the compass, and it can rotate on the base. On the compass housing we'll find north, east, south, and west with the degrees 0 to 360. These will help us find the different degrees or orientations. If we want to find north, besides just looking down the compass needle, we can turn the whole compass with our body so that way the orientating arrow and the compass needle are matched up with the index line and the direction of travel arrow. And this will show us north when we're standing behind the compass. And we can look at some far object. That way we can follow towards that far object and ensure that we don't go off course. Okay, say we want to find a different direction such as west. Well, the proper way to do it would be to line the west up with the index line. Well, then next, of course, we need to turn our whole body this time to line the magnetic needle up with the orientating arrow. Doing that, we would find that west, looking down the index line from behind the compass at the direction of travel arrow, is that direction over here. Say there was an object, such as this stick, or it could represent a tree that's far away. We wanted to go there. We wanted to know which direction it was. The best way to do it is to point our index and direction of travel arrow at that object and then rotate our compass housing until those orientating arrow and magnetic needle are lined up. We find that that is generally south from our current location. Uh, important note is this is a magnetic needle, meaning other magnetic objects can interfere with its ability to function properly. If you want to find the land of Oz, this is the way to do it. So keep knives, wedding rings, and other metallic objects away from the compass to avoid taking an incorrect bearing and going to a place that you did not want to go to, ultimately getting lost and putting yourself and those with you in danger. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a subscribe and a like. I would very much appreciate it. As well, if you want to learn how to use a compass and a map, click here. And if you want to learn the basics of reading a map, click here. Alright, so don't forget, subscribe, like, and click on one of these if you want to learn more.